everybody how y'all doing again welcome back to my channel I am coming back with you with a great wonderful system built list this is on the Ryzen 4650G um, APU 6 cores 12 threads 3.7 base um, base and with a 4.2 boost now y'all gotta understand we don't have no GPUs but APUs are in you can game off APUs. It just you gotta put everything in medium to low settings. Um, you can use the uh, 4K, the uh, HDMI in the back of the motherboard, and everything should be popping. You should have no issues with it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. You know we trying to go ahead and solve this issue with the GPU crisis, and they did. This is one reason why I'm kind of. This is one reason why. Everybody's switching to Intel's because Intel has more APUs than AMD. But AMD got some new APUs coming out, the 5000 G series that's coming out. All four, all three of those 5000 APUs are coming soon. I'm going to go ahead and get into that into my next video. But I'm going to go ahead and get into you with this a great, wonderful system build list. So let's get right on up into it. So y'all just got to understand that we are using APUs now until the GPU crisis gets fixed. Once the GPU crisis gets fixed, you can go ahead on and buy your GPU you like, whether it's the 1060 or the 1660 Super or Tie or the RTX 2080 or RTX 2070 Super, or the RTX 3080, 3070, 3060, 3060 Ti. They soon coming up with the 3080 Ti. Now, the thing is with the 3080 Ti, a lot of people say you shouldn't buy it, but my thing is you should buy it. If that's the GPU that's going to satisfy your needs in gaming or doing production work, then go ahead and then do it. Or go ahead and get the massive beast, the 3090. But let's get right into this situation. Like I said, we are using APUs, and you cannot go wrong with that. So let's get on right with this. Uh, this is the Ryzen 5 4650G APU, 6 cores, 12 threads, 3.7 gigahertz boost, 3.7 gigahertz base, excuse me on that, with a 4.2 gigahertz boost with 16 gigabyte of RAM dual kit and it's on the Radon Vega 7 onboard graphics. Yes, you can use that. Yes, we are using onboard graphics for this build here. And you cannot go wrong with it. In the bottom corner is the um the part picker list. If you want, if you like this sale list, that you can go ahead on and buy it, build your rig and be happy. Which I recommend that everybody do. Don't go ahead on and get disencouraged, like I said before. You know, right now, if I want to go ahead on and build this list here, I can because I'm not discouraged because I can use the APU because the games I play do not need a massive heavy graphic card. So now let's get right into it. The motherboard I am using is the Gigabyte A520M ROS Elite coming in at $84.99. The CPU is the Ryzen 5 4650. You can go ahead and purchase this CPU off eBay. It is coming in at $289.99. The air cooler is the ID Cooling IS60 ARGB low profile CPU cooler. And it's coming in at $49.99. The RAM is the Team T Force Vulcan Z 16 gigabyte. 3000 megahertz CL16 memory and this is coming in at 79.98 I am using team group MP33 1 terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD that's coming in at 97.99 the case is the cooler master master box MB311L that's coming in at $74.98. The power supply is the RS Game 
HEV, 750 watts. That's coming in at $59.99. Now, the reason why I'm putting that on 750 watt, if y'all happens to get your hand on the latest GPUs, then you be set at the right PSU recommended to park that GPU card. So you cannot go wrong with this. Uh, I recommend ours game. I use their 500 watt power supply in my grandson build, and you're talking about great performance. You cannot go wrong with this company here. And I recommend ours game to everybody that is building their PCs. Alrighty, the case fan is the Cooler Master Master Fan MF120R 3-pack, 7898. The grand total of this build is $816.89. I have the PC Pop Picker ID list. Just go ahead and copy paste and put that into your web bar and it takes you right to it. And you can go ahead and stop buying your parts. Um, This is a great build list. I love it. I'm thinking about doing this for myself and giving it away to somebody. And then when they get their GPU cards, they can go ahead and be happy. Um, just like I said, we are using APUs, which is the onboard graphics. You cannot go wrong with it. I'm going to also be doing a good review on PC game benchmark. So y'all can go ahead and see what games are compatible with the GPU, your CPUs, and your memory you got put up into it. So with this build, this you cannot go wrong with it. And I love it. So I, once again, I want to thank y'all for subscribing. Hit the like button on the way out. I got more great videos coming your way. I love y'all. Y'all take care. Peace.